Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am creating this look right here using all Wet n Wild products. I am pretty amazed by this look. I really, really love it. I did have some bumps in the road. I will let you guys know at the end what my least favorite products were. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe now if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure to enter my giveaway that I have going on. I will link it down below and it is my 2000 subscriber giveaway there will be two winners so make sure to go ahead and enter now let's get started with this video so first I am going to start off with the eyes as you guys know I am doing a one brand makeup tutorial using all wet and wild products so first I am using the wet and wild eyeshadow primer I am going to apply that with a concealer brush and the concealer brush is also from Wet n Wild. So I'm just going to apply it all over the lid evenly. Try not to apply a lot because then it's going to be sticky and your eyeshadows are going to be patchy. Now to set that eyeshadow primer, I am going to go in with this eyeshadow palette, the All Natural. These eyeshadows are very, very pretty. I am going to create like a plummy look. But right now I am going to set the whole eye with this bone shade here. So you want to set it all the way to the brow bone. The eyeshadow primer is a little bit sticky. I don't really like the formula, but we'll see how the eyeshadows blend on top. Like my eyelids feel stiff right now with that primer. I am going to go in with this shade right here, this taupey shade. This is going to act as the transition shade. Next I'm going to go in with this maroon shade here, the burgundy shade. And we're going to deepen up the crease with that. I am using my Morphe M502 brush. This is my favorite to blend out the crease. I am going to go into the black shade, this last shade here, and a pencil brush. And I am just going to pop that in the outer V corner. Now for the lid, we are going to use this shimmer shade here. It's like a dark maroon shimmer shade. Now I'm just going to spray my brush with this Wet n Wild setting spray. I'm going to go in with the lighter shimmer shade now. This one. Hopefully that will work. I am going to do the other eye off camera and I will be right back. I did not like the shimmer shades in that palette so I just went in with an all matte as you can see. And now I am going to move on to the face. I am going to leave the eyes alone for a little bit. So now let's jump into the primer. This is the primer from Wet n Wild. Now I am going to go in with the foundation that I tried the first time and I did not like it but now I'm going to give it a second chance. I am in the shade Soft Ivory. Some people did mention in the video that this shade is too light for me. I don't know, do you guys think this is too light? You want to pounce it in, you don't want to slide. Yeah, I think this is too light. This is a little bit light, right? I look like those guys from kids, <laughs> right? Wow, so if you don't blend it in right away, look what happens. It like stays in the same spot. 
so you want to work around fast with it now I'm gonna go in with this concealer right here I am in the shade light ivory as well this concealer seems a little bit darker so maybe this will help I still hate this foundation and the color everything makes me look like the Beetlejuice To set my under eye, I'm going to use this duo right here. This is the Dulce de Leche. To contour, I am using this side over here. Putting some color back in this face because I'm pale AF right now. set my face I'm using this setting spray by wet n wild obviously for the highlighter I am using this mega glow highlighting powder in precious petals I've used this before and I really like it the only thing is I don't really reach for it because it is a little bit darker than my skin tone For blush, I'm using this one right here. This is in the shade Pearlescent Pink. I love this blush color. I recently picked this uh, brow kit at Target. And this is the ash brown color. They only have one color there. And I think it comes with the wax and two colors. This palette comes with some little tweezers. These are really cute. And then it comes with an angled brush as well. This tiny one here. I am going to use this one. And I'm going to use a spoolie from the Anastasia. Little pencil. So just brush it out. What I like to do is go in with the color and then mix it with the wax. Now I'm going to go in with this mascara. I've never tried this, but it has this weird brush here. For eyeliner, I'm using this one here. This is just the Mega Liner. A lot of people have tried this eyeliner. I've never tried it. It's not a brush on, it's like a felt tip, but it's really good. Now, I'm going to do the lower lash line. I am using this pencil brush that I used for the outer corner. I'm going to blend it out with the burgundy shade. I'm going to move on to the lips. For that, I'm using this liquid catsuit and give me mocha with this lip liner from Wet n Wild. And this is Bear to Comment 651B. It's a gel lip liner. Ooh, this glides on so smoothly. I love it. And you don't have to sharpen it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did creating it. I really enjoyed this purple eyeshadow. I did have some least favorite products that I did not like. I still don't like this foundation. It's horrible. I hate the color. I hate the texture on me. It's really sticky. It feels like glue on my face. I don't know why everyone loves it, but to each their own. Another product that I didn't like was the eyeshadow primer. 
it's horrible and it's sticky and makes my eyelids feel really dry so I did not like this at all I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching